One of the most important valuation metrics is the enterprise value. In this video, I'm going to share with you how you can use enterprise value multiples so that you can find better stock investment opportunities faster. And if you stay until the end, I'm going to share with you how it is that you can get these enterprise value multiples automatically calculated for every single company that you like. Okay, so we have an entire dedicated video to the enterprise value, how it is that you can calculate why this metric matters etc etc but right now for the sake of this video I'm gonna walk you through the formula real quick so that way you have the context that you need to be able to understand the enterprise value multiples so as you can see the enterprise value formula is very simple you basically just take the market capitalization of the company otherwise known as the market cap you add the market value of debt and that is because the enterprise value is basically assuming as if you're going to buy the whole company so when you buy a company, you have to pay the price for that company, which in this case, this is represented as the market cap. But at the same time, you're also now responsible for the company's debt. So this is why this is added to this number. But the good thing is that you also get access to the company's cash on the balance sheet. So this is something that you would subtract from that. Altogether, that gives you the enterprise value formula. And what I'm going to do is we're going to calculate it really quick using Apple as an example. So the first thing you need to do to calculate the enterprise value is to get the data for that particular company. In this case, I'm using the Y Sheets add-on, which works on Excel and Google Sheets to be able to get the data right on the spreadsheet. And with this, you can calculate it a lot faster. So you get the financial growth, key metrics, cash flow, balance sheet, income statement. In this case, we're looking at the balance sheet mostly. So we're going to calculate it really fast. The enterprise value in this case is equal to the market market cap of the company which we're gonna get in a second but first we're gonna look at the total debt which is right here and then we're gonna add the cash and equivalents so you can see that it's right here we could also add the short-term investments but in this case we'll keep it very simple just following the formula and really what we're looking for is the market cap how do you get the market cap well the cool thing about Y sheets is that on a historical basis and real-time basis you can see that the market cap is available so we can just click here now enter and this is the enterprise value for Apple let me just zoom in in this case for 2022 now because we have the formula set up in place we could just drag it to calculate the enterprise value on a historical basis if I select this column and expand it there you go now we have enterprise value for all these different periods you could also calculate the enterprise value on a quarterly basis as well just following the same procedure but now what we're gonna get into is how it is that you can get the enterprise value multiples okay so now that we have the enterprise value on a historical basis right here we're gonna get into the enterprise value multiples but first I want to share with you what the goal of this video is and that is that for all these different companies I'm gonna show you how you can calculate the enterprise value which we kind of went over this already and we're also gonna get the market cap and most importantly we're gonna get all these different enterprise value multiples right here so that way we'll be able to compare all these different companies across the enterprise value multiples and be able to assess whether or not any of these particular companies is looking attractive as a potential investment opportunity okay so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the enterprise value we know that this is the enterprise value for 2022 so we're just gonna get it and then copy paste it right here on this part of the spreadsheet and then we'll say just values and here is the value and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start calculating this enterprise value over EBITDA first so the cool thing is that right away from the name you kind of get an idea of the formula and that is very simple you take the enterprise value and you divide it by the EBITDA of the company with Y sheets uh, you get the income statement right here so you can just simply select the EBITDA click enter and here here we go now we have the EBITDA which is really good for the enterprise value to operate in cash flow you do the exact
exact same thing. So you take the enterprise value and now we're looking for the operating cash flow, which is on the cash flow statement. The operating cash flow is the same as the net cash provided by operating activities. So we select it and here we go. Now we get the metric right here. And this is the exact same thing, but now we're looking for the free cash flow. So the free cash flow is again available on the cash flow statement. We select it right here. Click enter and there you go. Now we've done it for Apple. But as you can imagine, even if you have the financial statements and all of the data on your spreadsheet, this can get quite tedious, especially if you're doing this process for many, many different companies at once. This is just an example of a few companies, but imagine you have a thousand companies. This would be very time consuming. And this is why I'm gonna show you the best way to do it. So the cool thing about Y Sheets is that instead of getting all the data at once, what you can do is use spreadsheet formulas to get the data for all the companies that you need all at once. So let's do that. In this case, we have the table right here. And the way we're going to do that is very simple. We're going to select the enterprise value. So for that, we use the wise function. We have entire videos on our channel that you can check out, but you can see right here on the wise function, you can get an idea of how the function works. So I'm just going to have it right here. It's asking us what is the symbol. So in this case, we're looking for Apple. What is the parameter enterprise value? And if you want the list of parameters, you can click on available data. And now it's asking us what is the period? The period could be 2022. So in this case, we're going to keep it 2022. And you will see that is exactly the same number that we had before. But for the sake of this video, something better than a specific year is TTM. And that is because TTM calculates the enterprise value based on the latest data. So that means basically the latest market cap for Apple, the latest cash and cash equivalents, and the latest debt number. So this is the best number to use because now you can compare accurately across all the different companies. You always have the latest data and that way you don't have to worry about any of that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to lock in B1 and this is so that we could just drag the function down and get the enterprise value for all of the tickers that we have right here. So this is great. Now we're going to look to get the market cap. Market cap is a little bit different because in this case, we're going to get the real time market cap of these companies. So for that, you need to use a wise price function. So in this case, we're going to enter wise price equals wise price. It's going to ask us what is the symbol. So here are the symbols. What parameter we're looking for the market cap. And that's all we need. Perfect. So now we have the market cap right here. And now the last thing that we're going to get is the enterprise value multiples. So for that, we're going to use the wise function. We're going to select the company here, are the parameters, all these ones right here, we're going to lock them in. So that way we could drag the function down. And then the period for all of these is going to be TTM. Perfect. So now after we have this set up, we can just simply drag the function down and there we go. Now we have all of the data available on the spreadsheet. And one of the coolest thing about this is that on Y sheets at any moment, whether you're on the West press function or statement dump or any other part of the add on, you can simply click here, refresh live data, and you will always have the latest data available right on your spreadsheet. So now onto the most important part part of the video. And that is once you have all of the data available, why does this matter? Why do you want to calculate the enterprise value multiples? And the answer is very simple because when you want to invest, you want to pay the lowest price possible for the best company possible. So enterprise value multiples are really helpful because they allow you to see how much of a multiple over the enterprise value you're paying over that particular stock. So in this case, if we compare the enterprise value over the EBITDA, we see that for Apple, this value is 20.41. That basically means that you're paying 20 times the EBITDA of the company as the enterprise value. So whether or not that is a high number or low number, that depends on the industry. And this is why it's valuable to have and compare companies across the same industry. In this case, this list has many different industries, so it's probably not the best, but you get the idea. If you have companies that are 
are in the same industry you can compare them across these ratios and you can be like okay you know what apple is a great company it's maybe even better than microsoft for example and it's trading at let's say this was 15 and microsoft was 20 that could be a good sign that you should look further into apple and the same concept applies with the other enterprise value multiples in this case you're paying 23 times the operating cash flow of the company and 26 times the free cash flow of the company if you can compare the numbers with other ones you might be able to find attractive opportunities for you so in this case for example this looks very interesting the one thing that you do need to keep in mind is that companies that have a higher risk usually have lower multiples that's why they're priced lower because there's more risk involved so just keep that in mind but the general principle definitely applies now you know how to use the enterprise value multiples right on your excel or google sheet spreadsheet automatically and most importantly how it is that you can use this information so that you can make better stock investment decisions fast if you've enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification zone so that way you get notified every time we release a new video like this that's going to allow you to take your investing game to the next level i'll see you in the next one